Good morning children. Today we are going to learn skip counting. All the kids love to do skipping with the rope. Isn't it? What do you do in skipping? You jump over the rope. And you know we do the same with numbers when we do skip counting. Let us see how. Now you all can do simple counting. How did all the animals cross the river? It was by jumping on the stones. Let us count the stones which were used to cross the river. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, 10 stones were used. How many stones did the frog and mouse jump on to cross the small river? Let us start with the frog. Yes, it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How about the mouse? It was the same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. As they were all small, the frog, mouse, hen, and even rabbit used all the stones. Now, which animal crossed the river next? It were cat and dog. Let's see the cat first. The cat used 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 numbered stone. As the cat is a little bigger than the mouse and frog, it could jump over a greater distance. It didn't use all the stones. The in-between stones were not used. See, it didn't use 2, 4, 6, 8 or 10. Now let us see the dog crossing the river. Like the cat, the dog is also bigger than the mouse. So, it too didn't use all the stones. See, the dog used 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 stones only. It didn't use the number 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. That means they passed over a number or skipped the number in between without mentioning the number. Like while skipping the rope, we jump or skip the rope. Same way when we jump over the number without counting it, we call it skip counting. So skip counting is counting numbers by skipping over some numbers but at regular intervals. So, the mouse and the frog were not skip counting. They used all the numbered stones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Coming back to the cat, see, the cat skipped just one number in between while crossing. It used 1, skipped 2, then used 3, skipped 4, then used 5, skipped 6 and used 7 and so on. Let us see only the stones which the cat used. It was 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. The dog did the same. It skipped just one number in between while crossing. It used 2, skipped 3, then used 4, skipped 5, then used 6 and skipped 7. Then used 8, skipped 9 and used 10. Let us see only the stone which the dog used. It was 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So, this was skip counting. 
skipping the numbers in between. Now, if the river was longer and cat continued to skip, let us see how cat would cross if it started from the number 23. See, this is how it will hop or jump. Yes, it will use 23, then 25, then 27, 29 and 31. So, it didn't use the in-between numbers that is 24, 26, 28 and 30. So, cat was still doing the skip counting. It doesn't matter from where you start but you need to skip the number in between, right? What is the use of skip counting? Let us see. In a shoe store, pairs of shoes are kept. How do we count them? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So, skipping one number also means counting by twos. Here we are counting by twos. So, counting by two means adding two to the previous number like zero. Zero plus two is two. Two plus two is four. Four plus two is six. Six plus two is eight. And eight plus two is ten. So, we got two, four, six, eight, ten. This is also same as counting every second number. Like the dog's jump was count by twos. Starting from 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Same way the cat counted by twos too. 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Next, we will see count by threes, that is counting every third number leaving the starting number. So, if we start from 3, 4, 5, 6, yes, 6, 7, 8, 9, yes, 9. You can also count by threes by adding 3 to the previous number like 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. The wolf jumped on 3, 6 and 9. The deer used the stones 1, 4, 7 and 10. That was also by counting every third number. 1, then 4, then 7 and then 10. So, now you know the skip counting. That's all for today. Bye bye kids.